Hello Earthlings. So uh, one of the common things we used to do when we were out on the street in Dublin was because, you know, we often got farmers coming up and, um, you know, might have been debating, maybe asking questions, maybe making points. We always used to ask them to describe the slaughter process and they couldn't. They just had a vague idea of what happened in slaughterhouses. And uh, at the same time, these same farmers were the ones who were saying that the films that uh, come out of the vegan community are all made up and propaganda and, you know, even staged and that kind of stuff. So farmers, why don't you do that? Why don't you go and get your own slaughter footage and put it online for us? You know, show us the truth of your local slaughterhouse. Rather than just driving up and then just leaving the other animals there to their fate, why don't you ask them if you can come in? Now, they'll use all things like health and safety and everything, but maybe you can give them a camera and say, well, can you film it then? We'll, we'll wait out here for a half an hour. The chances are they won't let you and they'll refuse to film it. And that should create a question, shouldn't it? Why won't they show even you, the farmers, the slaughter process? Most farmers don't know the slaughter process, which is why during the foot and mouth crises, what tends to happen is that the you get um, footage of crying farmers because they're seeing their animals being slaughtered on their farms. They don't normally see other animals being slaughtered. It's um, the distasteful part of their industry, if you like. But if you're concerned, farmers, that we are putting out propaganda, go and get your own footage and put it online and let's see what it looks like. What does your version of a slaughterhouse look like? And then we can, well, the public then can decide, can't they?